What is going on everyone? Welcome to another video. I am absolutely soaking wet right now and that's because I've been out here on the beach chasing some beach monsters and uh, landing some beach monsters. It's been a pretty stellar day of early fall fishing out here in Florida. Let's get into the video. beach fishing in Florida you're always looking for bait there's just that's what you want to find because there's so much beach there's so much sand and everything like that that you have to find something that the fish are wanting to feed on primarily when I come out I'm targeting things like snook tarpon black tip sharks uh, we're not to that point yet where we're gonna start seeing bluefish pompano ladyfish those typical fall species show up so I'm throwing things like swim baits straight tails a lot of soft plastics with the hope Really, my favorite thing to catch is giant, giant beach tarpon. So let's see if we can get one. Oh yeah, this is looking good up here. Exactly what I like to see. Birds, bait, tarpon. I got the whole beach to myself. That was pretty good. Okay, let's go. I got a big, big school of bait out in front of me. The water's a little bit murky, so you might not be able to see it. But it's all minnows, and I got tarpon feeding on those. I'm going to throw this gray NLBN, 5-inch, 1-ounce head. See what we can get. Using one of my new Ocean's Legacies rod, this is actually like a popping stick, kind of meant for offshore fishing, but the, ba the baits and fish are all pretty close to shore, so I decided to give this guy a shot today. See if we can catch a big tarpon on it, that'd be pretty darn sick. So these fish are super, super, super active. They're blowing up everywhere, but you gotta think there's a million baits out there for them to choose from. So even though they're blowing up everywhere, you're not gonna get hit very often. I've had days like this where you only get two to three hits after casting all day long. So it's something that you gotta have a lot of patience for, but what I try to do is to fish the strike zone as much as possible. So if the minnows are on kind of an edge, I will fish right on the edge of those, because that's where the tarpon are gonna eat. I've never, ever, ever gotten eaten in the middle of the baits. So I try and fish angles where I'm gonna stay in that strike zone as long as possible and take advantage of every single cast. Torpin, what do we got? Something might be a shark. Oh man, listen to that saltiga sing. It hasn't jumped, so I'm assuming this isn't a tarpon. This has to be a shark. What do we got, man? Oh, just came off like that. Honestly, that felt like I could have uh, could have snagged it. I don't know, because I didn't, I didn't really feel a good eat. It just kind of got solid. Yeah, I think I uh, had to have snagged whatever that was. Because it wasn't a tarpon and it didn't jump. I think I like ran into a shark or something maybe. There we go. Come on. Let's go. Nice one, another nice one. Swapped over that purple. Hooked another, another nice tarpon. Oh man.
Really nice fish. Oh, he's not happy. This is as good as I've seen it all year. Never hooked him this fast. Normally I'm second guessing everything because I'm casting for seven hours and I'll get one bite. And I've gotten two bites and maybe a total of like 25 minutes of casting. This is sick, man. Let's go, buddy. Come on. Come on. Turn back around. Mm. These are some stubborn, stubborn fish. They do not like to give up. So all of this, like, see where it's darker in the water? Those, those are the bait fish. Yeah, so it's like little bait fish, like this big. Yeah. You know, they're just like eating mouthfuls of them at a time, like we eat french fries, you know? So what, what do you got on in a so th Yeah, this is a swim bait. It's definitely like a bigger profile than them, but this time of year you also get finger mullet to swim through, so. Swim bait, like a, like a, like a bass bait? Yeah, uh, kind of. Yeah. It, it looks like a bass bait, but it's meant for salt water. It's just, it's got like a paddle tail on it okay. and a big, big strong hook. After like 10 minutes, hook just ripped out. Uh, guess that's tarpon fishing, you know? <laughs> On the reel end, are you kidding me? Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. Oh man, on the reel in, I just lost that other fish and I'm reeling in and this one eats it. That's ridiculous, dude. <laughs> that is absolutely ridiculous. Are you kidding me? You guys saw that. What the heck? <laughs> you, no, I lost that fish. Another one ate it on the reel end. <laughs> yeah, I never had that happen before. Come on. Oh, right there. Came off. Whew. Man. Well, it kind of bent the hook out. Well, that's not what you want. Man, I'll tell you guys what, that's a pretty epic start to the day to hook a giant tarpon, have it rip like 150 yards of drag, pull hook on him, then on the reel in, hook another one, and then bend the hook out on that second one. That's a pretty intense sequence of events. If you guys haven't seen the video that I filmed earlier this year where I was chasing these giant tarpon off of the beach, I had fished for like maybe, I don't know, three days, four days, and it took till the third day for me to actually even hook a tarpon and get it to stick and stay on. So it's, you know, I gotta take advantage of this while I can when the fish are actually feeding. Hopefully I'm able to get one to shore. I'd love for you guys to see one of these beautiful beasts up close and personal. They're just, it's one of my favorite fish to catch and very rewarding. Hooking it is just the first part of the equation. After that, we gotta fight them all the way back to the beach. And the reason they're so hard to land, you know, is because they're big, strong, long fight. Lots of things can go wrong in that long fight, but they jump and they shake their head so much and they have an exceptionally hard mouth. So I try and fish as light a jig head as possible. I'm only fishing a one ounce because the heavier my jig head, the more weight shaking around and causing the hook to come loose. So just got that one ounce jig head. Hopefully we can get one to the beach. Okay, let's try this again. 
I only have so many jig heads, so I literally had to bend the hook back on this thing. Loosen my drag. It's kind of disappointing. I like to fight the fish really hard so I can get them in quick. And, uh, you know, they don't get too tired out and exhausted. And I can release them really healthy. But I also want to land one, so I got to loosen my drag just a little bit so I don't straighten the hook again. Because as soon as you straighten that hook, it's, uh, it's already compromised a little bit. Nice tarpon on. Let's go. Come on now. Nice, nice tarpon. Come on, buddy. Stay on. Stay on. He hasn't really jumped. I've seen him shaking his head. Oh, he's not too big. More of like a fun size one. Oh, buddy this actually might be the the smallest tarpon that i've caught on the beach this year oh he's not happy he is not happy yeah <laughs> this is really a fun size it's like a little 30 pounder which is good because i'm all alone so i'm landing him solo <laughs> this is cool man this is super cool loosen the drag a little bit because i don't want to i want to land them where they're fresh enough to let go but I also don't want to beat him up when I'm trying to land in my hand, especially solo. Oh, look how cute this guy is. Oh, there he jumped. Oh, there's my bait too. Got my swim bait. <laughs> Put that in the old pocket. I got to try and... uh time these swells so I just don't get the smoke you know all right come here dude he's hooked right in the button these smaller fish you know they're a lot easier to uh, control especially when I got like I got a hundred pound leader on here so I can hold on to him pretty good There, dude. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Grabbing Torpin by the mouth. Landed solo. It's actually not bad. He's probably 40 pounds. Let's pop that jig out. Awesome, man. So awesome. Just absolutely one of my favorite fish by far. Wish I had someone with me here to kind of show you guys how cool he is, but. Beautiful little fish. He's bleeding a little bit, but that's just from the hole in his mouth. Just fine. He's not, he's not hurt and he's gonna kick off fine. I'm just giving him a lot of oxygen in his gills. Wanna make sure he's strong. Let's see if we can get a, a tarpon selfie. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Man, what a day. What a day. Too awesome. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be curious and ask what rod and reel I'm using. So this is the new Daiwa Saltiga SW, the new for 2021. It is a 10,000 in the high gear, so it's like the 571. I put like 300 yards of 50 pound braid on here. And I'm fishing this on my new Oceans Legacy. This is a focal dual combat. So this is a new company that I'm working with. I got a lot of their rods. I'm really, really excited to keep using these. This is rated for, or it's seven foot 10, so it's not super long. It's something that I can use in the boat and also use in the beach when there's a lot of tarping close to the beach. It is rated for PE6, so think of like that as like 65 pound braid, and then it's rated for 60 to 120 gram jigs. It's, it's really made for casting like big poppers and big stick baits and stuff like that, but it's working just fine for throwing the swim baits off of the beach. And the lure of choice today has just been the no lie bait needed, one ounce, and then five inch in purple and in gray today. So that's pretty much it. If you guys like me going over my rods, reels, and things like that, make sure to like the video. It helps the channel out immensely. Now let's see, I got high hopes. They're chewing. Let's see if I can get a big tarpon.
There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, nice tarpon. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Let's go. On the new Ocean's Legacy Focal, the new Saltiga. Rocking some 50 pound braid, 100 pound leader, and the no live bait needed swim bait. Let's go, man. This is awesome. Look at that. <laughs> Man, that drag feels good. Really the only reel that I've ever used on the beach for these tarpon are uh, Van Stalls, which are solid reels for surf because of how effectively they're sealed. But in terms of drag capabilities, this Saltiga, you know, it's top of the line. It's top, top two reels in the world in terms of straight up drag capabilities. And it's just, it is so smooth, man. It's actually kind of nice having a shorter rod too. I've been using, you know, I use like a 9.2 or a 9.6 off the beach a lot of the time to cast far, but the longer your rod, the worse leverage you have. So I'm just fighting him on a 7.10 right now. It feels a lot better. I can put more pressure on the fish and less pressure on me. This is not a small tarpon. Not a small tarpon by any means. Oh man, that reel feels good. So this is the painful part of the fight. So the fish will stay out pretty far. I gotta try and put as much pressure on him as possible before a shark comes in and gets him or something like that. But it's uncomfortable for the fish and it's uncomfortable for me. <laughs> and he's just out there shaking his head, being real angry. <laughs> you guys can't see it on the GoPro because he's really far away, but I can see him just up on top splashing. I might not have him hooked the best. He might be hooked a little bit weird, but doing my best to get him in as fast as possible so he's healthy to swim off good. I'm afraid he's gonna wake up soon. Come on, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Use that wave. There you go, bud. Come on, bud. Come on. Keep coming, keep coming. Could I hand this to one of you? I'm gonna go out and grab the fish. Right. It's just bad for him to take just him out of the water. Yeah, just hold on. Put up the bail. That wire, just flip it up. See the wire? Yeah, perfect. Thank you so much. Oh. All right, let's get him out. We gotta revive him. Come on, bud. Let's go. Oh. Come on. I don't want you not healthy before you leave. Come on. Come on, come on. Got him by the tail. Really want to make sure he's good. Come on, come on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go. That was awesome. Whew. Thank you guys so much. That was so cool to see, man. Thank you. Yeah, that was amazing. I don't know, I think I did pretty good. I don't care how many times I do this, it never stops being fun. Getting to land a massive tar pit like that one from shore on a lure 
there's very few things that get me this excited. Man, it's been quite a day. The fish have been feeding. I get to catch that 40 pounder, that smaller fish, and then I got to end the day with that absolute stud. Man, what a day. I'm just, just happy to be out here. I feel super lucky to get to do this and you know, create content for you guys and document these adventures. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here because I don't think I could top that today. But thank you again, and I'll see you in that next video. Later.